Uh-huh. Uh, shall obey the orders of the Washington court. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, this was received on November 30th of 2011 in the public defender's office. Yes. This is something I agreed to uh, before I left Wall. Yes. <laughs> now, you would have thought mm-hmm, that somebody would have given me some due process before you issued the first protection order. <laughs> And uh, the way that I'm seeing it, yes, is um, this idea of the confession, yes. Mm-hmm. See, I know a little something about sin. I've oftentimes uh, repented of any sin I had knowledge of. But um, tell your priest of all the mortal sins and the number of times each was committed. And then you may confess some of your venial sins, yes. Now, um... You know, as uh, the priest talks to you, yeah, um, there's a possibility that you can't be absolved of your sin if you're Catholic. Yes. Now, I had mentioned to the Pope numerous times some of my, well, my disagreement with how Catholicism has handled this situation. Yes. But it, it says here, uh, do not commit adultery. No. No, no. And... Um, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. <laughs> Have I lied? Have I sworn falsely? Oh, oh, oh. Now, it would be one thing for the Catholic priest mm-hmm, to think that he could absolve the penitent of their sins. Yes. But I would say this idea of kidnapping children. Mm, mm. See, um, as I just mentioned, I'll, I'll, I'll put this on the drive. Yeah. When my record was expunged, uh-huh, I was free of any guilt of any wrongdoing. Yes. Now, I never admitted to any wrongdoing. Yes. My wife called the police and abducted my sons. Yes. But while I was reading that law, that canon law. Yes. That they have there in Catholicism. Mm. Um, I put some pictures on the drive, too. Now, yesterday, I was kind of looking at your wanting, yes, the IRS to recognize your tax-exempt status. But I'd say that if you can't actually, um, it says here, uh uh-huh, listen as a priest absolves you of your sin. Mm -hmm. If you forget to confess your mortal sin, you are are still forgiven, Uh but must mention it the next time that you go to confession. Yes. I would say the priest can't uh, assign any penance if the priest has sin. Now listen, Judas. If there's a reason for the stigmata, it was that somebody really upset Jesus. (laughs) And the only individual that he really worked with was, um, well, there were 12 of them, but Judas did hear the actual words of Jesus. (laughs) Now in that movie, they talked about Another gospel, but it's possible it wasn't Thomas's. <laughs> you know, if if Judas had written down anything that Jesus said before he betrayed him, <laughs> it would be well, it would be the same authority of the original apostles. Yes, but he's the one that got the anger of Jesus. At them. well, we're gonna have to look at a few things today, okay? <laughs> Now, if you can't absolve sin, you can't be a tax-exempt charity. See, um, my record was expunged. Mm -hmm. You issued a protection order while Mm -hmm. I was on personal recognizance. Mm -hmm. You made up a false arrest in May of 2012. Then you kidnapped my sons. Now, um, this individual that, that answered, uh-huh, uh, looks like he's got a little fish in his name. Oh, <laughs> see if you just connected this out. Yes, but maybe he's only half a fish. <laughs> you know, when you think about the letter uh, S, mm-hmm. it kind of goes uh, down and around and back around. Yes, this is an odd S when I think about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, most people use a capitalization for their name. Oh, 
It's like Paul C. Budnick. Yes. Mm -hmm. I always used a capital C instead of a little A. Oh, a little C. <laughs> Could you get me this individual and all these letters? <laughs> now, there's what's known as ecclesiastical laws. Yes. Mm -hmm. A law is established when it's promulgated. <laughs> this last week I was talking about some Washington state laws. <laughs> That when the, they were promulgated, they became law. Yes. And somebody seems to think that um, designated a mental health professional. Yes. Wouldn't upset me. Boop. <laughs> now, if this is the law as established as ecclesiastical law in Catholicism. Yeah. Yeah. My thought is any priest that has any knowledge of child abuse, ooch, child abduction. Oh. Kidnapping, ooch. The use of forgeries, yes. They cannot technically absolve any individual of their sins. <laughs> It'd kind of be like going to confessional <laughs> and having Judas, yes, <laughs> absolve you of your sin. <laughs> Now, there was this weird interaction between this woman that was an atheist. <laughs> I'm talking about the movie last night. And this other individual that was one of these priests that was reading some sort of Aramaic book, 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 yes. There's a possibility that Judas, while listening to Jesus, 